The testing was the first of its kind in the world, so there was a lot to consider. To get our test set up right, we did a series of full-scale calibration tests to refine our test equipment and data capture. The mooring line is attached between two points, with a 90 degree angle in the middle. One bollard is representative of the bollard found on the wharf at the ship's berth and is used to anchor one end of the line. The other end of the line is connected to a custom guillotine and is mounted on a bogey that moves with the line as it stretches. The point of rupture on the line was at the capstan, located in the middle of the ship. Where the line changes direction is the ship's fair lead, which in our case is the redirection bollard. We install the protection fence in front of the redirection bollard. In this test, we wanted to collect enough data to analyse every aspect of the event, especially the speed and energy of the rope, the path the rope travels, and the effect of the broken rope hitting the protection fence. To collect this data, we use multiple high-speed cameras. We also monitor the event with load cells and strain gauges mounted on the protection fence. We designed the first test to replicate the event that occurred at BHP's Haypoint Terminal. This fence did perform slightly better than the one first tested, but the parted rope still pierced the mesh and entered the safe zone. The data from the first test gave us great insight into the behaviour of all components during a snapback event. Using this information, we were able to iterate our design and with the help of homes, build a safer, more effective protection fence.